Hello, welcome back to Took Scrap Table. How's everyone doing today? Um, so, it's been <laughs> really exhausted week. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, Monday, I was exhausted. We had like really good dinner uh, on Sunday, and Monday I was. I was I slept most of the day because I was so tired. I don't know why, but always, even though party Monday is still a bad day for me to like try to. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, I have I did not craft. I did nothing, and uh, and then uh, Tuesday I was packing and mail off the journal, and then today I was I was gonna film earlier, but then. I have to do some few phone call, follow up with the guy who fixing the fridge, and I was so upset because they put me back and forth, and you know, and um, yeah. So long story short, I got finally got through the technician, and now we texting each other. So because it's been a month since my fridge broke down, and they come in, take a look, and order the part, and I never hear from them since. And we pay deposit, 50% 50, 50 deposit. So, <sighs> anyway, that was a stressful day. So, and uh, I thought I'd come and, and do, I'm not going to have much crafting to, to share today. But I'm going to talk through what I've done and what I will finish. It's Now it's very simple. Uh, steps because I want to wrap it up and and quickly because it's already December yay welcome to December that now everybody into their December daily and so I just don't want to you know to 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 interfere with that and uh, oh and I do I did the word of the month and where's my word <laughs> My word of the month is um, make your own. So, so I'm gonna try to make whatever I I would like to use, or even in in life in general. Um, so basically, try to buy less. <laughs> so I already have something in mind. I want to make um, uh, uh what you call the color di dish for coloring so i have a, a mold silicone mold, silicone mold for epoxy so i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna try to make my own but anyway so a few ideas that i'm gonna do that that's really good word of the month for me <laughs> um also uh, this is on the cover and i think with on from last time but um i added um a brad to these um this holder and the brad i i got i have really long brad that go through all layers now that all three layers are connected um not just these didn't just glue on top of this piece but it actually uh, connect through the brad so that's help but it's still like not the strongest uh, pose but it it held and then I add um, I have the envelope I think I show you the envelope that I was going to put on uh, here and I just make simple flip that's pocket here and I found this recipe box that I have long long time ago so I so I just pulled out a few recipe and add it in here and so and then this is the envelope flip I did not do anything like um, fancy flip because uh, I was gonna put something in here oh and I bought a few book cookbook from eBay so I will add some some recipe in here so my, maybe I put in the envelope and here I just use lace as the tuck spot here, just so you can still see through. So, and the flip I just use a fabric hinge here, and fabric is kind of like blend into the 
to the end paper so I can't really see and then what I did without you is that I make I look for like a cardstock and just fold simple fold and add to tab and then I add tabs fabric and um, I like to add tab now uh, rather than later because <laughs> then it's not too fluffy so I can see how thick for the ephemera so I try to make the ephemera flat this time so just like basically it's just a recipe um, card and and the top I just add um, ticking as top tab top tab and um, yeah and and what I do I lay out what I want to add to the page like envelope and flip and ephemera so and then I went in and decorated them and that's how my process go this is like um, sharing the process right so here's the CD envelope there's a tack here there's a tack here so I haven't put the ephemera or I haven't decorated these so I'm gonna collage these to, to make it look nice and this is the envelope I just um, sorry I just have this envelope and then this is a tuck I collage the rest and and this <laughs> it's so cute it's a stationery that I just I, I bought a, a uh, what do you call it a lot of um, stationery lot on eBay and then this was in the lot it was it's super cute and then it says stamp here so I just fold according to the score line and then just put it in here and it's so cute and then I just lay out and then I also have this ruffle and I add and then some tab fabric tab here and then um you know, um, one of my video was showing on collage on the at last um, a giant size at last, and then I tear it down to strip. This is five inch strip or four inch strip. I have three sizes. I have three inch, four inch, and five inch strips. So, and then I collage with the um, uh, whatever I have in the bucket for my scraps and I collage it and so and back it and so so my next step is to decorate it so this is what I do in my process I would add ephemera uh, blank ephemera and then I will go in and decorate and see how how thick of the journal would be and this is from the kit this is and then this is also from the kit. I just backing with uh, Tracy paper. And this is from the kit as well. So I went all of the journal card from the kit. I just have a stencil at the back. Just very simple. And here's a, a pocket. And this is, I just, uh, it's just a cutout from, from these, right? So I just thought it's, it's nice. It could be a journal card here so tuck there and a fold out and then there's some journaling card here and and this could cause the bulk so you could take it out but I just thought it's super cute this is from the tag from one of the tag from the kit and then the page and I add some snippet as a tab and the tuck pockets and and here's another you know journal card or tag that is ready for decorate and this is from the box of cookie that I am having a biscuit walker I think you all probably all know I love this biscuit so I cut out the cookie and then I just make a, a tuck spot here and again this is like you know, just like my collage on that uh, strip that I just tear it out and add it to, and then it's just like a stencil. Yeah, this is how I I work. 
like great I my process of making because sometimes people asking how do you do your your journal and how you start and finish it because they they think that I uh, make journal really fast but I don't think I I am like you know to finish a journal in a week that's that's a take a long time right some people they can make a journal in a couple of days but I cannot and and this is a this side envelope I don't know the size um, but this is from a dollar store like I got the, the smallest side envelope here and then I cut to the side and then I collage it and the the recipe from the journal from the digital kit fit in here and this is also from eBay that I just got it literally just arrived this morning and then I just like okay it's really cute um, recipe card so so it will fit in here and then I that's it that's all how as far as I decorated and pretty much gonna be repeat pockets and tuck spot here as you can see that I lay out and then I'm gonna continue to collage and decorate it and um, yeah so I will show you again once the flip through because uh, there's not really any technique that I can that you know that you don't already know that I should be sharing here because the leftover is just gonna be a collage like like this right I lay out this this is gonna be here and this tag I might do something to it or maybe not and but I do need to back uh, be, back the back because it's pretty thin and this is like um, I back this card already and so and in here I won't decorate this because I love the paper and pattern and everything yeah so as um as I mentioned in previous video this is from Rachel Roxy creation the bag she put in goodies for me <laughs> when she mailed this yeah so it's basically just a blank that's why it's always a good thing to collage your scrap and then um, in strip or like a long roll. I, I I try do the long book page like a continuous book page like uh, Gail or or Carol or who else I have seen them do, but I just don't have room for it. But once I put in a strip. To the size that it will fit here like like I said three inch can be tag four inch can be big journal card like before and then five inch would be perfect for pockets or t or anything to add to the page and that's how I yes that's how I prepared a strip and then I collage use up the scrap and then ready for any journal link spot or pockets or tags and here's I did the belly band using ruffle and just and then make pocket here and yeah so and then it just just from the the kit and then the flip up CD case and there's gonna be a lot of these because I think it's good. So we'll see you again on the flip through on these and uh, I'm not sure I will be doing um, uh, December daily but if I see anything interesting I would probably come and, and, and do that here and also I am going to put a freebie up so that you can use and make something together um, so join me on my Facebook page I mean Facebook group I have a group called what's on your craft table um, so don't ask to join my friend don't request my friend but go to the link down below it's Facebook group it's called what's on your craft table so come and join me and then we will 
to we'll have some freebie uh, throughout December and do something. And uh, if I see some December daily, or if you want to recommend a December daily uh, that somebody do, and um, you know that you are joining and uh, you enjoying it, just just let me know, and and I may I may jump in. I did last year but I didn't get to finish it I think I follow um, 49 uh, Barbara at 49 dragonfly and then I get um, to stop because of the I have the same situation <laughs> like like right now because we were supposed to sell the house and move last year too but then thing happened and change our uh, um, I'm not gonna go through detail <laughs> so so I, I have to stop doing it and then then this year I that's why I don't want to commit to anything this year but if I see anything that I think that we it will be nice to join um, so I will jump into or you if you have someone already just recommend in the in the comment Okay, and um, if you want me to show you how I collage the journal card and tags, also um, make a comment too, right? Because I just I just don't know if you have any interest in that because everyone do that, right? Every channel like collage, and I just don't want to, be, you know, take your time on that. I want to share some useful technique and you know some idea how I use my my um, kits and stuff and here here I ran out of the collage that I pre collage whoops and then I just put in this um, uh, what do you call it? at last page which means that I need to collage here and then the back in the back and and this is already have like a recipe card in there so that's mean I plan to do that there yeah so that's how I I go through the process like and if I feel it a lot or you know it's uh, gonna be too much for the book then I might pull out a few things that's that's all right and then I maybe put in put take out all the the ephemera and put it in the envelope and then the ephemera it's just gonna be simple recipe card so that you can add your recipe and then some recipe from the book or book that I found on eBay some uh, like um, from the 1920 no 18 no 19 yeah 1922 1923 and then yeah, so some are quite old. It's almost a hundred year old recipe. So I will be adding to here as well. So we'll see you in the flip through. And uh, yeah, see, I just add in a blank. And that's how I I go through and make, you know, um, journal and stuff. And and through the back and you know I put this on and then I have to find my um, we call magnet <laughs> to be honest I just my brain is just so dead I just couldn't remember where I put thing now but um, we'll see we'll see where I can if I can find a magnet and I'll add it here and yeah and, and I will go through and oh and then uh, what my plan is just uh, poke hole here and add the brad like strong one and then uh, not brad eyelid I'll have eyelid and then either it's gonna be sari silk or a nice gingham uh, fabric here I mean gingham might be nice right to to tie here um, yeah I might stick with gingham and then the bead and that will be it's my final uh, to to do with this journal and um, and thank you so much everyone for supporting to my shop and I just reached milestone um, on the sale so um, 
without you, I would not be here. <laughs> I'm just like so, so, so appreciate your your support and you know every one of you like even just don't buy anything but be here for me that that means a lot too but um if you're getting something for me that's awesome and then i hope you hope you find it useful so i put uh, some sales on uh, the accessory and that's only gonna be available for you us only because um, Canada won't ship to a few country and also like if you want to ship you have to use the like um, uh, what you call FedEx and uh, DHL which is extremely expensive and uh, so that uh, what else I want to talk oh and then um, for future journaling journal sales I would offer to direct sell to you here on YouTube or if or if you see me working on something feel free to contact me uh, uh, if I'm is it on sale or how much and all anything like that because oh I know as in I never been I'll get never get along but I have to admit it I cannot sell without Etsy especially digital but uh, in the future I would like to offer here and sell to you direct through PayPal like arrangement PayPal but anyone in Canada we can do direct deposit um, because that way I can offer uh, a cheaper price for you because I can knock off the SE fees and um, I won't be charging tax uh, extra tax for you but um, we have to work it out the the shipping cost which is you have to pay the actual price or you know whatever I quote you it will be the price from what I would get quote from Canada Post. I like to use Canada Post, but I will explore to to other um, shipping. You know, in Canada, we don't have variety of um, company. It's really a monopoly, right? FedEx offer you shipping, but they cannot offer cheaper price than Canada Post. I think it's probably their agreement or something. And uh, yeah, that's why I have to stick with Canada Post for shipping, and I can all only offer like so much um, uh, distance because, like, I think they say from November, no, yeah, November, December, and January. I think, including January, that they will only have service for expedite in express parcel outside Canada so that's the only two services that I can choose from and it's really expensive so but anyway that's I think that I will do that because if no one contacted me uh, within the week that I show the journal and if it's still not sale I will put them in on Etsy and that way and, and it will stay there and uh, even if you see it on Etsy that is still there, you can contact me um, directly and ask if I could sell to you direct, right? So, and then I will send you the invoice via PayPal. And I know you, you guys have to pay tax on, like, you know, um, what do you call uh, VAT, not tax, a VAT when you buy and uh, because Etsy collect all tax and then you and an Etsy fee with all the fees it's about 13 percent um, uh, so their their fee is eight percent and and then visa and everything else is fee so when I calculated it's about it came about 13% that it will come off 
the the selling. So that's that's why I think you know um, to help you save the cost with tax and everything. It was like what twenty percent or something that would knock off um, your last your total bills that you will have to pay for these. I just don't agree like you know for the handmade item and art item they shouldn't be taxed <laughs> all that but <laughs> I'm not making that rule right but anyway no more rambling um, so join my Facebook um, group if you want to get to grab some freebies and uh, I need to post one up today but um, it just hasn't been a good day for I mean good morning for me <laughs> You should hear me yelling at this guy. He was shocked when I asked him, Are you fraud? <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think everything was sorted out. So, we'll see you on the flip, um, f flip through. Or if I uh, decide to uh, make something with my free digital, so I will come and, and, and do it here t as well. And see how my weeks go. And uh, suddenly my husband decided to get a, a tree today. So, <laughs> which means that I have to find the Christmas decoration and set it up before the tree get. you know. I think you have to let it sit for a bit, right, for a couple of days. But it's still, we haven't, we, I, I don't even know where the Christmas decoration is. <laughs> Oh, you should see my basement. It's about like hundreds of boxes, piles and piles of boxes. So we'll see, we'll see. So it will be busy week, but I'll I'll try to make another another video soon. And um, yeah, so hope you guys having a wonderful December and uh, that you have time to enjoy crafting more and. Uh, Looking forward to your family gathering and Christmas to come. And yeah, hopefully you'll be a good girl. So Santa will have a good present for you. We'll see you the next video. Bye.